hey hey everybody welcome to my channel look at the array of yumminess i have on my desk but before we get into why this is here um i hit 20k this morning oh, i hit 20k i hit 20k i can't believe it oh it felt like it took forever to get to 10k um and then to hit 20k as well is oh i am smiling from ear to ear <laughs> thank you oh thank you all so much for the support for always being here for oh, just making it such an amazing journey because oh i just you make me want to film and have a good time and laugh with you all and everything and I love the comments and I uh, I just I love everything and thank you all so so much I appreciate you all from the bottom of my heart there is no words to describe how I'm feeling at the minute no words to um describe how absolutely grateful I am so thank you all so much so with that I'm gonna have a 20k giveaway mm-hmm mm-hmm and I have a mixture, I have an array of things here. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to put a little kit together um, so that you can go off and make your own ephemera and clusters and things like that. So I have some of my pieces in here as well. So the journal that I made the other day, this is in the um, giveaway as well. So if you didn't see this video, I'll link it down below. But I'm going to give this away because oh, I just absolutely adore this. And um, yeah, I would literally, I just, I would love to see this in, in its forever home. I really would. Um, so this is in the giveaway. I also have one of my weathered, um, and aged lanyards that I made as well. Um, I do have a video on this, uh, but oh, look at that. How cool is that? It's just, oh, they're amazing. And I also have put in some of the metal pieces um, just here as well. So I've got two D rings with lobster clasps on them and two of the clamps that go round the ribbon in case you wanted to make your own lanyards. Um, I also have da -da, some of my washi tape. So there's one of each here. They're 10 metre rolls and you've got the large stripe, the thin stripe, the brown, the check and the postal as well. So there's one of those each. I also have some little packets of just vintage ephemera here, some of the cigarette pay, uh, cards and some vintage stamps. I also have two lots of vintage photographs. So these are the ones that are just, these are just, um, I think there's two images, um, two different images and there's a few of each. Um, but I like to cover them and then I use the postcard back. But then I found some of these in my stash and I think they're a mixture of really old uh, vintage postcards but wait until you see the back look how grungy the aging has been on these I mean oh look delicious so again you could cover the front of these as well I also am um, putting in some of my dyed cheesecloth um, so you can have some of that I have just a little ephemera pad here um, that was just in my stash. There's two different um, little forms on it. Plus, um, I have some um, decorative paper as well. So there's a whole bundle of all, all kinds of vintage ledgers and bills and stuff like that in there. I'm also putting in my teeny weeny little mini journal because it's just too cute um, that I made out of playing cards. So this will be going in as well. A glue stick because we all need glue sticks. Mm -hmm. um, a package of Heidi Swaps tags. These are, oh, love these tags. So I had to share some. Um, a splat stamp set because why not? I mean, splatters of course. I have a vintage street map here as well, which would be just perfect for ephemera. 
um, and it's it's quite a big one as well. So it's got text on the back and it's got the map on the front. I also have a package of Heidi Swap's white um, labels so that you can stamp on and make some ephemera. I have a little wooden block um, rubber stamp as well. And I have a pad, a ledger pad, just full of plain ledger paper. So if you wanted to make your own invoices, you could make your own invoices with that. Um, what have I missed? Right, so um, also let me just clear this away and then I'll be back. Right, so I also just want to explain what's in here. So this is a little tub of um, just metal bits. So we've got a couple of jumbo paper clips. We have the items to make a couple of lanyards as well. Like I said, I'll link that video in the description box. Um, we have some of the, um, I don't know what these are called, but they're like ball chains um, with the clips on the end as well. So there's there's a little pile of those. And then we also have some smaller paper clips and some black and some silver of the bulb clips as well. So just a few little bits in there to get you started. So you can make some dangles and some clusters and stuff like that. And also... Um, Esther Glass um, from And also, so Esther Glass from Badass Paper Lover, um, uh, she also, she's one of the stamp and die designers for Elizabeth Craft Designs. Um, she reached out to me and she kindly gifted me two items of her new range and it is beautiful. I will link her Etsy down below if you want to go and have a look. But she also offered to give a set away. So let's start off. So this is the set that she is going to be giving away. Um, and it's, oh, I mean, I don't know if you remember this paper. Um, I think it's from the Bella Rose. I absolutely adore. This is my favourite paper out of the Elizabeth Crafts paper. Mm, I love it. So this is a pencil case. And you have a lovely little netting bit here for your pens. You've got little slots here for your pens. And then this bit here, this bit here is lovely and deep. So if you travel um, when you're crafting, like if you go to um, retreats or anything like that, this would be perfect. It is so lovely and deep. You're going to get quite a few things in here. I reckon, actually, you would even fit a couple. Yeah, look. I reckon you'd even get three in there as well. And then also your washer tapes as well. So your washer tapes would fit in here. You could put all your pens in this side and put your washer tapes and your glue. Oh, it's just, it's so cool. It's so, so cool. So that's the pencil case, but we haven't only just got the pencil case. Wait for this. Oh, look at this. Right, let me just bring you out a little bit. There we go. It's like a little, it's not a tote bag, but it is kind of a tote bag. So it is absolutely beautiful. It is massive, absolutely massive. So you get the strap, um, the strap, it, when you get it, it will come inside the bag. You have a little netting bit on the side um, to keep your phone or your bottle of water. Um, you get those on both sides here as well. So there's one here. And then when you open it up, it's so big inside. Look at the size of that. It's it even, it's like, it's like got cooling bag material as well. So you could even use it as a lunch bag. But it is absolutely amazing. It is huge. Look how wide that is. And it's just absolutely massive. And the pencil case fits perfect inside. I mean, oh, how beautiful is that? So Esther has given me one of each of those to give away as well. Um, 
I won't be, they won't be arriving um, in the same package. So Esther is going to send those straight from um, the Netherlands and then my stuff will obviously come from the UK. So all I want you to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment. Just leave a comment. That's all um, I want I want you to do is just leave a comment and like I said you must be a subscriber as well um so then I will have the um ba, 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 what shall we say do, 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 do. Wednesday I think I'll pull the winner on Wednesday I was gonna say a week but then I kind of think a week is a little bit too long yeah yeah i'll pull the winner on wednesday so no friday <laughs> just in case just in case um some people are on vacation and uh not able to see it from now until wednesday so yeah just in case i will do i'll do friday i'll call the winner on friday so be a subscriber and leave a comment um that's all you have to do and then, yeah, I will pull the winner on Friday, which will be, let me just have a look at my calendar. So Friday is the 16th of August. I cannot believe it's the 16th of August next week. I'm speechless. Wow. Wow. Autumn is coming. I'm so excited. Oh, right. So that's all the goodies out of the way. That's the good news. Uh, uh, uh. I can't. I still can't believe I hit 20k. Well, it's a funny story actually. <laughs> of course, because it's me. Um, so I hit 20k, and I was. I put it on my Insta stories. Um, I put it on the community tab on here. I told all my family. I was like, I hit 20k. I hit 20k. And then I went over to YouTube Studio, and I refreshed the page, and yeah. It was short-lived. <laughs> I lost a subscriber and it put me under 20k. I was like, oh. So I hit 20k for about half an hour. <laughs> and then I left it for a while and I refreshed it again and I was back up to 20k. So I was like, yay. <laughs> so I was touch and go for a minute there. <laughs> Touch and go, touch and go. Right, so now that is all the goodies out of the way, we're going to do a little bit of crafting because I haven't done a video on um, the block stamps yet. My block stamps. So, yeah, let's have a little play with those. Right, so I have some goodies with me. So I have cut some um, A4 paper and what I did was I cut it down to 10 inches and i got this strip so we're going to play with that and then i cut another strip um at four inches and then we've got six inches as well so the the width of it is whatever a4 paper is so it's eight and a quarter eight and a quarter inches um wide and then we have um this strip is just over one and a half so probably about one and three quarters yep yeah, one and three quarters and then four inches and six inches so we're gonna have a play with those i also have some of the um let me take these out so it doesn't glare there we go some of the heidi swap um label stickers i absolutely love these and then we have my stamps, also some cello tape as well, because we might do a bit of grunging. I'm also going to be playing with um, the washi tape because, well, you know, of course. And um, yeah, let's just have some fun. So first off, we're going to play with these two sets. And um, I'm going to show you how cool they are and how they go together so let's get this set out first and we're going to play with the ticket because we haven't really done anything with the ticket right so i'm going to get this is um it's a bit thicker than photocopier paper but it's a th it's like a thin card as well so it is literally perfect for ephemera 
absolutely perfect. Right, so I'm going to get out my VersaFan Clear and my acrylic blocks. Um, and I think this one is probably going to be too big for that, so we'll put it on the bigger block. Just ink it up and we're going to ink a few oh. <laughs> oh i love it so i'm going to leave a bit of a space in between we might go oh because we're going to cut these out and we might go over the ticket with some of the stamps so we don't want to be going onto the other ticket and there we go perfect let me let me wipe off my block And we'll put that back. And now we're going to get out our little block stamps. First off, I'm going to give this a little blast. Is that on? No. Nope. I'm going to give this a little blast because I don't want to be a smudgy smudgerson like I did here. Look. Mm. So just make sure it's dry. That's it. And now, first off, we're going to play with the little one on the end. Right, so if you can hear the boys barking, it's because my daughter's just come home and they're all excited. Right, so I've got my antique linen oxide and I've got the end of the ticket. And I'm just going to... Now, what you can do is that... Can you see that? where I, I've literally just gone around the edge. Now, this is a Heidi Swap trick, um, and I learned it from her Halloween stamping last year. And I love the effect. So if you literally just, when you stamp him, just stamp, just stamp around the edge, just like that. And you'll still get a little bit in the middle. And it looks really cool. Right, so I'm just going to line this up over the ticket. Sorry if you can see me, Ed. And just... And then, look at that. How cool is that? And I'm going to do the other side as well. I'm going to bring you back in. There you go. All right, so again, we're just going to... Just stamp around the edge. I'm just going to put a little bit on the end there. And then... How cool is that? Ah! Oh. <laughs> I love it! I love it, I love it. Right, now we're going to get the long one. And I think that is going to be... Oh, it might. It might just... It just fits. It just fits. Right, I'm going to do the antique linen in this again. So when you're doing the blocks, um, you don't have to. You can do them 
oh excuse me you can do them in literally any color you like um but i like to use like speckled egg uh, weathered wood lost shadow uh in antique linen kind of um the the lighter colors of the background So again, I'm just kind of rocking the stamp and then taking off the bit off the block. And then I'm gonna line it up. Ta-da! So cool. I'm gonna do one on the other side as well. How cool is that? Right, now let's do another colour. Right, so now someone's moving the bin. Sounds like thunder. It's not. Someone's moving the bin. Oh, um, now we're going to use Stormy Sky. Um, are we going to use Stormy Sky or shall we? I don't want to use Speckled Egg because that's not the colour I'm going for. Um... Yeah, we're going to use Stormy Sky. So I'm just going to dab, 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 and then stamp on there. And then... Oh, love it. Love it. And then we'll do this one again. Shall we do the end one? Do you know what? I'm going to do the end bit. And then I'm going to use... Right, so let's just plonk this down there. And I'm going to take one of the other blocks. Shall I take this one? I wonder if this one will fit. Oh, oh, a little bug. That's That would have gone across the middle. It's a bit long. Because these ones are for the graphs. The grids are on this stamp set. So, I'm just thinking we could go that there. Oh, stop sticking to my fingers. That there. And then... That there. Let's move that up a little bit. I wonder... Let's move this up a little bit. Right, I know what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put them on the block together. Other way, Tone, other way. And then I'm going to put this one so it's kind of in the middle. And then I'm going to use... Oh, see, I don't know if festive berries is a little bit too pink, but... We'll give it a go. There we go. Let's go a little bit more on the on the top one. And then we're just gonna Oh, it just moved. Oh, but it still came out cool. And we're gonna put that there. And then we're going to get the little the little block circle 
Um, and I think that would go there. I'm going to do this one in the blue. I'm just going to put this one just there. And I only did it lightly because I didn't want I didn't want it to be. I'm wondering if this one will fit there. It will. It will. Should we do another red one? Oh, I'm gonna do it. Do you know what? I'm I'm mixing it up now. I'm gonna go antique linen. And put it on straight. Perfect. Perfect. But I smudged. I smudged. Oh. Right, I'm going to give it a quick dry. And now, we're going to go over with the grids. So I'm going to get my long, my long stump. And my versifying Claire and I'm not going to do the ends she says stamping the ends All right, so I'm going to wipe the ends off because I don't want the ends so then I'm just gonna stamp and like I said, it doesn't matter that it's going off the edge because we're going to cut them out anyway. And I'm just going to put that. Look at that. Oh, that doesn't matter because we're going to put a bit of washer tape on it. So then I'm going to get, where's my other little stamp set? There it is. Because this has got some cool bits in it as well that will coordinate with this so we have this little grid stamp here which also fits the tickets so we're gonna put that there and then one more. But then we can also just have just the one there. And if you wanted to, you could also just put little box label just there and in this stamp set you have just a label that also fits that Right, now, shall we fill it in? Let's fill them in. Right, so I'm going to put a couple of stars on. I'm going to do all the filling in in black. Right, 
Oh, I mean, that just looks cool already. Let's put one down there. And then one down there. I've smudged that one too. Oh. See, always make sure your ink's dry. All right, let's just put that away for now. I'm going to get out my adventure stamp set. And we have a date here. we could put just up there and then we also have a number that we could put in the bottom there and maybe even in the bottom there. And then we'll get our other stamp set and we have nearly <coughs> excuse me I nearly did that the wrong way up so let's put that in there and then let's put it in there too and we also have This a lovely big number. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. And then let's get the date stamp so we can put date in there. Let's put that up there put date up there because obviously that's where the date is and then this should fit in this little box here just like that and then we have another number to which we can put there there and there we have the arrows I love these arrows Oh, they're too cool. Right, so what else have we got? Um, 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 um. I reckon Yeah, that's what I thought. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we're going to put that one on there and then we're going to get this one and put that. Well, don't forget we're putting washi tape on it, so lift it a little bit up. And then what I also want to do with this is I want to use... I think I'm going to 
going to do the, the stormy cloud, the stormy sky. Um, let's do it over the other side, shall we? Because I've got the arrow there. I don't want to go over. Right, let's take let's take the cow off. Because I just kind of want it in the background. Look at that. Oh, I love it. I love it. Right now. Where's the other yeah, here we go. So we've got a little a little five stamp here. To which we can just go Bub. and look at that. Look how that fits. It's just beautiful. And then No, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put it there because I'm going to use my star and I'm going to do it in blue and put it straight in the middle, just like that. Mm. <sighs> this is why. And I know they're mine, <laughs> but I have to say, this is why I love my stamp sets. Because, oh, they're just so cool. I, I made it so they all coordinate together. Right, so we've got the American Airlines one. So I'm just going to put that coming off the edge there. I know it goes over the number. That's fine. And then... Just stamp in there as well. Let's get our little lines. And I reckon I could oh, put it on straight, Tony. I could hide these. by putting that on there and I do want some going down the bottom there some going down the bottom there lovely and then on this one and this is why we spaced them the way we did so that it didn't matter I'm going to put some dots And then I might put some dots on the bottom of this one as well. Just like that. Oh, I love them. Right. We need some bits in here. Bum, 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 bum. date there and then we've got a big number stamp here but I think I'm just gonna get the first the first two numbers and if you go over that's fine just wipe it off you can do the washer tape bit if you want but I find it just easier to wipe it with a With a baby wipe. <laughs> and then we've got the word original, which can go 
in there. Um, what else? Let's put that in there because then that can be number 43. Yes, yes, yes. Right, we have the R. Shall we put the R on? I've never done the R in black before. I normally only do it in red. But it's going down here. Look at that. This one needs something. What does it need? I'm wondering if it just needs some washi tape or something. I think I might put this on along the top. just gonna because I don't want a lot so I'm just gonna oh, I keep putting them on one key put that there and there we have four really cool tickets right so I'm gonna put those aside and now I'm going to get, where's the paper gone? Where's the paper gone? Oh, it's up here. Right, so I'm going to get one of the six inch pieces. And we're going to stamp. Oh, just flicked one off. There we go. I'm going to stamp the grid. Oh, Right, let's put this one back. And where's my big stamp book? I don't know. Yeah, I think it just hangs over the edge a little bit. But that's fine. Right, so we're going to stamp this up. And we're going to do a couple of these. So... One, and again, I'm going to leave some space, and two, and then I'm going to have. Oh, Right, the joint time. We're going to get the long one. Now be careful of your ink. And we're going to go one. And right, so they're all dry. Um, I think I might use the same colours, but not the festive berries because it's just too pinky for me. So I'm going to use five brick, which might be, uh, no, I'm going to use five brick. Right, so we have our grids here. We're going to do the bigger grids first. 
and we're going to have And then we're just going to stamp in there. And then we're going to take this one. And we're going to stamp in there. have the little one here so let's do that one blue and then you don't have to have a box so you can just put a box there let me make that more of a box. You can put a box there and just put a stamp in it. It doesn't have to have, it doesn't have to be part of the grid. And then we have a Zilong one, which I'm going to do in antique linen. I'm just going to put that across the top there. And then we have this one. This one's going to go just there. I'll do it again on here. using my pack of dried out wipes now we got another one here and I remember don't smudge I'm not really sure this one's this one it is put that there We'll have the blue, and we'll put that just there. And then we have the big one at the bottom as well. This one just there. 
close that. And then I think we'll put some more on this one. going to give them a quick dry and then we're going to fill in the spaces right so they're all dry and I know what you're thinking you're thinking hmm yeah but Tony they don't really look like much at the minute wait we haven't grunged them up yet we haven't done the grunging right so let's get some of the stamps and start filling in So we've got a date stamp and that will fit perfectly in that box and that was the one that we didn't have a black box to go round and then we have the number I'm going to put that in there and then we're going to put in there maybe no I have one that I want to put down there yep I want to put this one down the bottom just there and then maybe In there and we'll have the date and then let's have Sigmatra On the bottom here and then we'll have it in the top here and then we'll have it over here and then I think I've got do 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 put it on straight We'll put that in there. Put that there. And then there. And then on this one, go in there, and I want it on there as well. I think we've got a thunderstorm coming because that is Midges of Aurora. Right, and then I'm going to use this address. And then put that just there. And then stamp this 
there. Let's put that on there. Um, let's put that there. And then in there as well. Where's my little set gone? Let's put some stars on. And then let's put That there. Then we're going to go back, put some lines in. Yes. And then let's put that there. Mm -mm. And then I'm going to put this one, but I'm going to use sand dune keep forgetting about this I absolutely adore this stamp set this stamp colour and then I'm just going to go oh, shall I put it there or shall I put it there where shall I put it where shall I put it where shall I put it it's just in the background anyway that's why I like this colour but I'm pretty sure perfect so that can be like secretive covered and I reckon I reckon that's done well it would be but no I just love it. Um, what else? We 
could do the via airmail. And just smack it bang like that. And then maybe like that. <laughs> I quite like that. I like that a lot. Right, let's call those done. Let's call those done. And there we have those. And we have... Where are they gone? Oh, they're here. And we have the tickets. I'm going to do... I'm going to do a little bit of extra... Um, stamping on here with the sand dune. Like that. Let's get this one. Stamp that there. Stamp that over there. Can you hear the children screaming? Woo! <laughs> they're going for it uh what else have we got i think that'll do no it won't because i've seen a gap <laughs> uh, and i just want to put these just there like that and then i reckon they'll fit in the middle there as well and just there oh i know i'm gonna have to stop tony stop now stop right now <laughs> right so let's just put these back on here i'm not gonna put them away though because i haven't finished yet so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them out and then we're going to grunge them up and then we're going to, um, we're going to do some labels. Yay! Right, so I vintage up the rest of them, but I've, I left these two for, uh, well, you know, I mean, it's not like you haven't seen me do this a million times, but <laughs> I thought I'd just, I'd just do it on camera with you. So I'm just going around the edge with some vintage photo. I'm just kind of taking away all the white bits, really. Just like that. And now I want to get my black soot. And where's my... There it is, my dobber. And I'm just gonna go and take off all the white bits. And then let's get these bits back and do the same to these. literally midges everywhere little thunderflies can't stand them horrible little things That's 
that's it. And now what I think I might do is, let me put these back before they roll off. I'm going to splatter them. So I'm going to spread them out because obviously we use Distress and we've used Oxide. So we should get some really cool effects. So I'm just going to get some kitchen roll and I've got my spray. And then I'll be back. Right, so I've got two pieces of kitchen roll. And now I'm just going to sp sp spritz into my hand. And flick it. All over. Just like that. And then I'm going to give it a little blast just to get it going. And then we're going to And it's only faint. Let's put some. Some more on. So like there, just up there, oh, and then there's a little bit here. It just gives it just that little bit just down the side here, look. It, uh, it just, I mean, it's very subtle, but it's so cool. And there we have our labels, labels, and our a, a tip, ticket ephemeras. And you could, what you could do with these is you could back it on a bit of foam. Um, I wonder if I've got any. I don't think I've got any to hand. No, I haven't. Or you could. Come on. Can you let that fly? It's, uh, the bugs around my house are, oh, they're awful because we live around, literally surrounded by fields. So yeah, we got a lot of creatures and a lot of wildlife. But there we go. And then and then let's put one of these on as well. Ah, there look. A little black Thunderfly. 
which, like I said the other day, would explain why I have been feeling the way I have been feeling. And now we've got thunderflies, so... Yay for the storm. this just there and I'm not going to do the tickets and then I'm just gonna That's not bad. That's not bad. My cutting skills are improving. I never thought I would ever say that. And then you could back them just like that. They just look so cool. I'll tell you what we haven't done. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? We haven't sanded yet. <clears throat> I think I'm going to use my, this one. That's a bit easier. And then what we also want as well. Yep. We want a bit of washi tape. Have we got a bit of room down the side? No, because we cover this. Let's go over this side. We'll just cover up that number down there. Can you hear that? <laughs> that was a child. I know it sounded like a car alarm, but no, it wasn't. And then we'll just run over the top. Oh, look at that. It's so cool. It's so cool. Right, where's the other one? Let's do this one. run it along there and then look at that oh they just look so cool right and now i think we might have this one on here just along the edge Hold it over. Uh, oh no, it's gone. Now it's gone. Just got caught in a spider web and got away. Go. 
go. And just oh, I love them. They're just so cool. Right, let's do this one. And I think this one I'm going to go No. Um Let's go down the side. Sand it up. There we go. And then this one, I wanted to have this one, didn't I? Go in across the bottom. And there we go. And there are the tickets. I'm not finished yet. <laughs> I want to put a bit along here as well. No, I don't because it's a different red. It's a different red. about that's quite close this is um i think this is heidi swap's christmas washi oh we're going over the word date we don't want to do that do we Perfect. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. Oh, will it? No. Because it no time. Because it won't. Because it won't always do, will it? Because let's face it, you've always got to put something else. There we go. There we go. Right, so here are our tickets and our labels. Some of them mounted, some of them not. Oh, they just look so cool. They look so, so cool. Right, and now, I don't know how long this video is going to be. I say that every time. I should just stop worrying about it. <laughs> Right, let's put those aside for the moment and get out. I'll tell you what we didn't do. I'll tell you what we didn't do. <sighs> yeah. 
this is what we didn't do. So if we fold this and then sand it and then put a bit of tape over it. And we could do the same on here. happens when you sand it oh look at that <laughs> I just love it I just love it right let's put on a long strip because it's a long I'm gonna put I mean, oh, look, oh, it's just, it's definitely the little things that you do, the little finishing touches. And now I'm going to get a long bit and I'm going to put it straight down the side. Ah, oh, yes. Look at that. So like the vintage tape is holding on the washi. Mm. Chef's kiss. I'm going to kind of bend it and that has ripped perfect perfect and then this one because it changes color and I'm going to put this And I'm going to put a bit over the end as well. Oh, yes. Right, I'm going to do the same with this because I loved that. and then I'm gonna and then 
let's get this one that's a little bit clear. Not all the way. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, and now they just look, I mean, it's so grungy cool. Oh, <laughs> right now let's make some quick labels. <sighs> oh, I've got nail varnish marks all over these labels. It's okay because I have some more. Right. get the blocks back and first off what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the washi on first so I want the washi go along the top of these two and then oh my nail varnish is so annoying and then down the sides of these two Perfect. Give it a bit of a sand. And don't worry about that. Where's that kitchen roll gone? Don't worry about the paper dust look because it comes off. So just rub it off. Right, so we've put that on first. And now we're going to have a play. Let's put those ones there. And first off, where's it gone? There it is. Right. So I'm going to put this in the middle. Oh, I'll get this back out there. I know I shouldn't have put it away. So we're going to get the R and I'm going to use my ink, my custom made ink pad just because mixing the colours has just made it lush. And then I'm going to put an R here. Perfect. And then I'm going to put number up there, just like that. And then where is it? There it is. So I'm going to put Travel log on there. Love that. <laughs> and you don't have to use these sticker labels. You can literally, if you've got a Cricut, make your own. Um, there's loads of YouTube uh, videos that show you how you can make your own. It's awesome. Um, or you can also um, buy packs of labels off of Amazon. Right, so I'm going to do 
do the mix of colours with this one. Oh, and it's not straight. And that end blue is going to smudge. So let's get that bit again. That's why I love these custom made ink pads. And then, where's the destination stamp? So let's put this here. and then going in the middle this time so we want the lighter colors and then we're just gonna like that look at that it's so cool um and then i want i want i want i want my number stamp gone is it on here it is it's right there tone and then i'm just gonna put a little that just there oh i love this i love them they're just so cool Mm -hmm. And then I think let's go and then this one, I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to put this up here. Shall we give it a go? Shall we risk it for a biscuit? Ta -da! Wouldn't even know. Wouldn't even notice. And then I'm going to get Liberty Street. Put that underneath. Look at that. <gasps> and then right, let's get Sun June, which we know is my favourite. And a little postal mark. <sighs> ah. Look, it's smudged because it's on my finger. That's why. Ah. Oh. And I'm going to put that right there. I have to remember to stop dipping my fingers in the ink. <laughs> and then we're going to get the air mail and we're just going to put that just over the top there and I think we'll put it over there as well and then I'm gonna get I think I'm gonna use the Liberty Street again I'm gonna put this a little bit lower because I want the one above it
Ta-ta. I'm gonna use me. I'm gonna use me two. I don't use this very often. I don't know why, because I adore it. And then I'm gonna use me mixed colours and get the dark at the top. Wait till you see this. This just looks like oh so good. Put that down there. Look at that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Right, and then I think, oh, let's go for this one again in the sand dune. I'm just going to put this just there. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get my little number and I'm just going to put this. Just there. Look at that. It's too cool. And then I'm going to get this. The chevron. And I'm going to go. Oh, this is going to look just too cool. Ah, it would have looked too cool if I put it on straight. Right. Look at that. Look at that. How cool does that look? Oh, I'm going to have to do that again. Right, line it up. And then I'm going to go down the side of this tag. Oh my goodness. <sighs> See what I mean? Ugh. It's just too cool. It's just too cool. Right, and then I'm going to do it with the dots. Right, where shall I put it? Let's put it. Let's put it on this one down the bottom. In the middle. <laughs> See, who would have thought, right, that an ink pad can just change the dynamic of... A piece of ephemera it's just oh amazing absolutely amazing i'm going to put me three stars i'm going to do these in the dark part of the red and i think i'm going to put these down the bottom I just, I just love my stamps. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. I really do. Oh, they're just, mm. and then I'm going to put, I think I'm going to use London. I'm just going to put that, I think I'm going to put that above the stars. Put that just there. Um, what else, what else, what else? Let's do... Mm, no, we're not going to do a number right now. What about, I wonder if that will fit. No, it's too big. It's too big. What about... I do love this one. 
Right, I'm going to do this in the sand dune. It's too long. Right, so I'm going to rub off your letters off the end. Just two words. And then I'm going to give... So I'm going to put that there. And then wipe that off. And then just get the last two words. And you've got to be... You've got to be really careful because... It's hard to see. Ah, oh, love it. It's hard to see the um, the sand dune when it's on your stamp. And then I'm going to use this. And I think this I'm going to do in this colour. Shall I do it in that colour? Oh, I don't don't know. I might do it in the blue. And then just, oh, I've got itchy hand. Let's get a bit of scrap doubly doo -da. And put that over there. Because, oh, I want another bit. Oh, I've got my stamp stuck to my arm. Right, I'm going to put this down here. Because I want this to come off. Oh, look at that. 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 Oh. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. What else can we put? Shall we put? Because we don't use this one very often either. Number five. Right, and we've got a little one here. I don't even want to move that in case it's a bit of ink. It's not, it's a bit, just a bit of dirt. Um, what else, what else, what else? Um, mm -mm. Where's the R? Let's do the R. And then if it's too small, see there, where you've just got the lighter colours. If it's too small for the stamp, then just put, do the middle, do the lighter colours, and then get your ink pad and then just tap the bottom of the stamp with the darker colour. I can't see what I'm doing, so that's it. And then do the top with the darker blue. And there you have... Oh, and this is just going to look too cool. So I'm going to put this down here. And look at that. <sighs> Honestly, I recommend to everybody that they make themselves um, I forgot what it's called. A custom ink pad. Especially if you're doing postal. That's not going to fit along. So I might put this just here. Oh, look at that. And then let's get this one. And I think we're going to have to or at least put it over the top. Because I want to go. Just there. I'm having so much fun. I'm having so much fun. And then. I might even. I'm going to put a little grid. I'm going to use the grid. 
and I'll show you how I do it. You probably know already, but first off, I'm going to put that there, that there, and then one at the top. And I think I'm going to do it in black. So, right, I'm going to wipe off that line downwards. And I'm just going to put it there. And then we have a little grid to fill in. This one, and I'm going to do it in the colours and put it here. <laughs> and then I'm going to put I'm wondering if that date would fit at the top. Shall we give it a go? Perfect. And then let's get another bit of paper there. Stamp that there. rest of it going across there that's cool and then I'm wondering if that number where's it gone is it on this one no it might be here that will fit down there and I got a couple more left I'm gonna use the block but I'm going to use sand dune and this is the block off of the adventure stamp set and I'm just going to put it up in this corner oh, it's busy around here today isn't it now the ice cream van's here oh Mr Whippy mm -mm -mm -mm. right and I'm going to put just just a plain red one in the corner and then where's me um where's me other little stamp set Oh, I can't find it. Oh, it's here. Because I want some stars. I'm just going to go right way around time. I'm just going to go down here. And then I think I might go with the blue. On here and then I think we're gonna go with the red again just under that oh. <laughs> I think this needs some stars as well doesn't it um, it's got the red too so I think I'm gonna do the blue stars 
and I think I'm going to put them, let's turn it round, down here. Perfect. Look at them. I'm going to have to do a project using these because... Can you imagine how cool these stickers would be with Margaret's postal themed digital kit? Amazing! I'm wondering if we could use, if that might be... It might go over, but it might be right on the line. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. You dares, Rodney, you dares. Right, down the bottom. And I'm going to put this one. I'm going to turn it upside down. Can you see? Yeah. And then I'm going to put this in the middle. It's a little bit wonky, but that's fine. And then I'm going to get... The single one. And go in the blue. And then get me a bit of paper because we're going to be going off the edge. Put one there. Put one there. And put one there. I probably could have done that better, but... It still looks cool. Yes, I probably could have done that a lot better. Now we need something to go in here and I reckon it's gonna be this bad boy. Because this fits in here perfectly. And I reckon I'm also going to put it in that one as well and I'm just going to leave that one like that oh arrows let's put one there On there. Let's put one there. And then underneath there, we need something, don't we? What about this? It's not my favourite, I'm not going to lie, but it'll do. Let's just whack that there, because why not? And then we have two little ones here, which I reckon that's going to fit in there perfect. Look at that, look, it's like it was made for it. Look at that. And then I'm going to do, oh, I'm not going to do that. I'm gonna, I wonder if this will fit. It should just fit. Oh, 
been so much fun. Um, right, I'm going to put this one. Get the ink off the bottom of me. Put this one on here. Excuse my neighbours. I think that might be a bit of a squeeze, but it will go. Should, could have moved it over a little bit, but it looks cool. And I need another star. So I'm going to do the same because it's too small. I'm going to go in the middle with the lightest colours and then I'm going to dip the top and the bottom in the dark colours and then look at that. Mm -hmm. This does need a little bit of picket fence going through the middle just to refresh it a little bit. Right, so what can we put above here? What have we got? Oh my God. Perfect. And let's put this here and then this here sand dune and just put that there and I think we're going to do it on here as well and we're done we're done how cool is that I am going to do just gonna let me move that out of the way I'm just gonna put that there I'm not bothered that it didn't come out right I'm gonna have a little tidy up and then I'll be back so I was just about to say and we're done <laughs> but we're not no because I forgot my cello tape didn't I ah. I do like a routine. <laughs> right, let's put... I even set it out all nicely, look. And then I looked round and I was like, what? I've not finished. Right, so I think we're going to put this... Going over this number. Just like that. And we've got another one here. I don't think I'm going to put them on quite as many. And I think we will, we'll put that one over there like that. Oh, look at that. Oh, it just looks so beautiful. And then I think, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to not put it down wonky because that wouldn't be good. But I'm going to put one bit going across here and then going across there. And then I'm just going to follow the line of the sticker. And then gently pick up the cello tape. Ta-da! And then we have this little bit here, so we could stick this. Oh, where's my tweezers? Where's my tweezers? Where's my tweezers? I don't know. All right, let's put it on the edge of my, my knife. And let's put that. Right, just there. Come on, stick down. That's it. One more bit. <laughs> Right, I'm going to have a 
little bit coming off the top there. And then I'm going to get a little bit. I'm going to use my thingy because my nails keep scratching. Oh, look at that. Oh. Yes. Well, I'm just going to get my... Because where I peeled it up. That's it. It just needs... It just needs a little bit of help. Come on. There we go. And there we go. Look at all that. Oh, I love it all. I love it all so much. Look at these stickers. And they're so cool. They're, I just love them. Shall I pull one off? Do you want me to pull one off? Oh, I dared not I dared not in case I don't get it back on. My OCD. <laughs> but look how cool they are. Ah, oh, and these are the little fishtail ones. Tags. And then just two labels. Mm, I love them. I love them. And then we've got our labels and our tickets. <sighs> They're just so cool. Absolutely so cool. Right. So I don't know how long this video is. <laughs> I am literally just going to give up saying that because, you know, if, if it, you're going to have to expect just long videos from me now. Um, yes. So give this a go. Like I said, you don't need to use Heidi Swap's label paper. Make your own. Make Buy some if you've got or if you have already got some labels. Um, cut them to size and do it um sticker paper white sticker paper that you use for your printer that will do exactly the same or like i said if you've got a silhouette on a cricket you can cut your own um or if so i'm um, go and have a look because she sometimes I, I brought these on sale that's why i have so many of them um so yeah they might still be on sale so definitely go and check it out if they are Right, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. Don't forget to comment as well. Comment on the giveaway and I will pull the winner out of a hat on Friday. But thank you all for being here. Thank you all for supporting me on my adventure. I appreciate every single one of you. I wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for you. So yeah, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. You make this such a pleasure to do. You really do. Reading all your comments and everything. Ah, oh, I just, I adore you all. I absolutely adore you all. Thank you all so much. And we're going to play with these in the next video. I might, I'm going to make clusters out of these. Because mm, these were my, when I played. I played with these when I first got my stamps. Um, and I think these, I mean, unlike these where obviously I've progressed. <laughs> these ones are like you know it's it's like evolution <laughs> evolution of my stamps um but yeah these ones need a little bit of grunging up so i'm going to use these as well they're very similar um but some of them you know but you know um i told you it's evolution <laughs> these i'm going to use these on clusters so i'm going to make because, you know, I said the other day that I didn't have a lot of postal clusters. In fact, apart from the tabs, I don't have any postal themed um, clusters. So, yeah, I'm going to make some. So that will be coming this week. Next video, playing with these labels um, and stuff that we've made today. So thank you all for being here. Um, I hope you have a fantastic week and I will see you in my next video. Bye.